Hello, chicken effers. Going for a little ride here on a cold day. Got the heated crypts on because it's cold out today. I'm testing out my adjustment to my foot pedal, uh, the gear shift lever. The other thing I'm trying out is um, I changed my GoPro settings to uh, 1080p instead of 765 or whatever it is. Those heated grips are nice. It's pretty cold out. It's like in the high 30s. Once again, it's a pain in the ass upshifting with these boots on. I still have the shift lever adjusted higher than stock, but the angle is really weird. Downshifting is fine, no problem. But, uh, upshifting is a pain in the ass. Going from first to second, no problem. Now that I'm like in second, it's like, doesn't want to upshift. The fuck? Don't you do it. Thank you. Self-canceling turn signals working. Big trucks pulling out in front of me. Chill. Thank you.
Okay, now it seems like it's all right. I don't know if it's the position of my foot. Suspension seems decent. Why are you braking? So my turn left. Yep. It's pretty quick. I got some layers on today. It's a little chilly out. Got some Under Armour, Under Armour fleece underneath my coat. Doesn't seem too cold. My hands are a little cold on the top. The heated grips on the bottom are nice. Uh, it's my first time riding with something in the panniers. On my back right pannier, I have a slime uh, tire plug kit I just purchased, a mini air compressor, a multi-tool. Um, so that way if I get a flat and I can plug it on the side of the road, I have what I need to do that. So that's in the back bright pannier of course everybody's always stopping in front of me on this road Getting under the shifter is a pain in the ass with these boots I got, which it sucks because the boots were like $300. So it seems like with the Tiger, having a smaller profile front toe is the way to go with boots. I would not recommend, uh, I got these Roland Sands Mojave boots and um, they're comfy. I broke them in by wearing them around the house for a day. They got good protection in the toe, good protection in the ankle to come up high. But um, get it in the front of the boot under the damn shift lever on the Tiger is a pain in the ass. And if I put it high enough to easily get it under, then it's too hard to upshift from where the peg placement is. The peg placement is like a sportier placement. <clears throat> the peg placement's underneath me, which is more touring. But the angle of my heel to toe for the shift lever seems to be a tiny bit more sporty than a cruiser and that is what is pain the ass chill I'm gonna take this all the way down today. Um, I've been going up here.
know what RPM range you guys ride in on your Tigers, but uh, it feels really good up until five. I feel like I want to upshift. I don't know if you guys take it a lot higher. But it, the engine to me kind of sounds like it wants me to upshift when I get to around there. Come on, dude. Are you kidding me? I think there's two settings for the heated grips. I think we got on the hottest setting. They feel really warm. Come on, dude. 35 miles an hour, Are you kidding me? I haven't seen any motorcyclists out yet. I always see one on this road. I mean, it is middle winter time in Philadelphia area. Railroad tracks, here we go. And fuck. Loose board in the middle of the tracks? What the fuck is that? my mirror while I'm here. Oh, the other thing I was going to do, which I never got around it, was adjust my shift lever so it's um, a little further in, not so far out. Uh, probably the brake, I don't know, my brake lever too, I guess. I haven't had any problems with the wind so far, so the standard height of the windscreen seems to be doing just fine. Uh, I know from reading on forums, a lot of taller riders are complaining about the buffeting on their helmet. Uh, I'm five foot eight inches, so the standard height so far has been nice. I haven't been on the highway yet, so. Oh, well. oh yeah, yeah, what is this schnizers? It's a red light. And this guy doesn't feel like waiting because I stalled out behind him. In front of him.
turn left on the 13. This whole little exchange area here between State Road and Route 13 sucks. Smells like plastic or something weird. And the clock on my bike is wrong. I know, it's right. Something smells terrible.